the list goes on and on. So what are the factors that, you know, attract you or what are the factors that, you know, made you believe in these subjects all throughout and what is the idea behind bifurcating the subjects for theatrical and OTT for you? I miss your uh, first question first. I've never looked at stories as male centric or female centric or hero driven or heroine driven. I've always looked at them as stories and if they're compelling, they need to be told. Uh, if you look at the room around us, if you look at your own fraternity, um, we aren't answering questions bases a question from a female journalist or a male journalist. Life doesn't divide it that way. Uh, I will say this though on record. I have been extremely fortunate and blessed that stories with strong women characters find me and it's not the other way around. So whether it be some of the amazing work that you've uh, noted um, and it is amazingly coincidental and nothing else that our last few years filmography reads like Shakuntala Devi, Durgamati, Sherni, Chori, Jalsa. The show that we are producing is um, uh, called Hashash, directed by Tanuja Chandra. A proud fact, we have five directors that happen to be women who are live in our slate at the same time. So um, I'm not governed by different economics of uh, films with women in the lead. I think it's just strong characters backed by great storytellers and partners like Amazon that allow us to do that the work that we do. And uh, there is no filter that we cut through like this. Uh, this is our fifth film which will uh, premiere directly on a streaming platform. Coincidentally, all five have been on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, stories find their mediums, just like how they find their, their audience. What better opportunity than to give access to such amazing stories, uh, especially Jalsa by Suresh, that it goes simultaneously to the world. I mean, Vidya and I experienced this in our first such outing in Shakuntala Devi, where all of a sudden we were getting feedback from Poland. Her performance and the film was being raved about by, by audiences in Southeast Asia. So there are films that do tend to, to resonate better on certain mediums of personal consumption or at appointment consumption on the other hand. Uh, the distinction for us is again stories find their mediums. Um, we are, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, theatrical releases. We have a couple of big ones lined up, but uh, I think we like to go where our audience is, and Jalsa is an example of that. And uh, my second question is to Mr. Manish. Uh, so, you know, in theatrical medium, we have seen that the content creation uh, for theater, it happens on Friday to Friday basis. Like every Friday, there is a new release. How does it work for OTT platform in terms of having a calendar for the particular month? Like, like what is the strategy of having content that caters to audience in a month? So we look at stories and we look at, you know, finding good stories irrespective of the timing of the story. You know, it's not that we're going to look for, you know, filling a calendar, you know, in the, for theatrical and other mediums like television, you're probably programming for a slot, but for us, we're programming to a consumer that's looking for content that, you know, they can relate to, they can talk about, they hopefully, you know, and, and they hopefully like it. And between, yeah, and, and we serve content in 10 languages, you know, in, in nine Indian languages in English, we've got content across movies and series, we've got stand-up shows, uh, and amongst this variety of content that we offer, I think it's still at the heart of it, it is, you know, finding good stories, whether it comes directly on our service, and we've done that in the pandemic where, you know, it, it's been, the, the endeavor has really been to bring cinema in your living room in a safe manner. Uh, we've premiered over 50 films in the last 18 months and we continue to do films even post theatrical, you know. So between all of that, I think, you know, our heart still lies in, uh, in great stories and we'll find the right time to tell them. But yeah, hopefully they're all just great stories. Hi guys, Shravan from Ismaili here. Uh, so Reza, my question is to you. 
Uh, yeah, on your left uh, side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the trailer. It looks fab. Thank you. Uh, you worked with Vidya in 2017 uh, on Tumari Sulu. Uh, how is it working with her on Jalsa? And what was that one aspect about Vidya and Shefali that you rediscovered while you were shooting for Jalsa? So, uh, working with Vidya in 2017 and again working in 2021, it's become even more addictive now. Okay. So, that's there. Now, let me come to the point that what is the common part into it. In fact, my life ma making this film, I think we started shooting this film in August, July, August. Through and through, I've been surrounded by question mark, all the question marks, okay. Both of them, to my right and my left, they're exactly question banks. It's like as if you uh, made a mistake by writing a script, the amount of questions they threw at you. <laughs> Coupled with my team, with my DOP and my uh, editor and my associate and everyone, okay, my writer. So I have just been, a barrage of question bank questions have been thrown in. And the best part about working with them is the amount of involvement. See, there was a day I remember like uh, I was sh we shooting a scene with Rohini ji. Rohini ma'am is here. Please, a big round of applause for Rohini Hatangadi ma'am. She's here. Uh, three of them were there on the set. And main, I had no other go ki main bolu kya. How do I even pretend that I'm going to direct them? So I just took a break outside, came back, and I said, all I wanted that day to pass by and say that main, I shouldn't look like a fool. So I got away that day. So that's my thing. I mean, it's absolute pleasure to work with both of them, the amount of involvement that they show. So that's the common point, guys. We'll do the last couple of questions because, as always, we're running short of time. Hello. Uh, hi, Vidya, ma'am. Uh, hi, Shifali, ma'am. First of all, I want to thank you for your time. As you released the film on Holi, so it's the case that it's going to be a lot of time on the Holi. So, I want to know about you both the planning of the Holi. What are you going to do with the Holi? I have a plan for 18th night we are dropping. 17th night. I have a plan, I am going to sit with popcorn and samosa and malpoa and I will watch a picture. I swear that is my plan of action. I will call some friends and we will sit on the ground and see a picture. That's my plan for Holi. And one day, put a ring on it. Yes, okay. It's done, right? Yes, but it doesn't matter. I'm just interested in watching the film. No, I really hope it is a... Uh, celebration, firstly, we haven't celebrated Holi in two years. So I think this year Holi is going to be big. It's going to be bigger for us because of Jalsa, uh, inshallah. So, yeah, hoping for the best, yeah. I hope it's a true Jalsa in every sense of the word. Uh, uh, hi, this is Keyul from Sinistan. My question is for Vidya, ma'am. Firstly, Keyul. it's a fantastic trailer. It's very thrilling. Thank you. And it's a coincidence that the trailer of this thriller is released on the day your iconic thriller Kahani completed 10 years. Yes. So how do you look back at the film? How do you look back at these 10 years of the Porsche Kahani phase? No, honestly, I was doing some interviews when I was told, you know, it's 10 years to Kahani and I couldn't believe it. It feels like yesterday. It's a film that, you know, every film is special to me, but I still remember every single day of shoot on that film. And, uh, you know, I was just telling Vikram, like we were waiting outside, we had a screening, uh, at one of the theaters on the day of release and we were waiting outside uh, for the film to complete so that we could come in and meet real audiences. And 10 years, my God, but that film has given us so much and we will forever be grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies Hello. and gentlemen. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, 